much. Welcome, everyone. We're excited to run this session for you today. We're going to cover writing resources from the Academic Skills Center, the Center for Research Quality, and the Walden Writing Center. This is the overview of our presentation. So I'm going to discuss our writing courses and our proposal workshops, as well as a brief overview of the res writing resources offered by the Center for Research Quality. And then I'm going to turn it over to Lydia, who's going to talk with you about writing resources for the capstone writing available from the Writing Center. So the Academic Skills Center offers a number of writing courses for students. We offer a course in APA style, and we're very excited about our APA style course as we just revised it, and it will launch for the first time and run for the first time on October 12th. It will run for semester students for the first time on October 26th. This is a four-week course that covers a basics of APA style, including citations and references. And we've streamlined the course quite a bit and made it, we've put in a lot of infographs and made it a little bit more manageable on top of a course load. So this is a fantastic option for students. We also offer a writing a literature review course, which tells students exactly how to write a literature review. So this takes you from beginning to end of writing a literature review. We also offer some basic graduate writing courses that are current in the, currently in the process of being revised, and they will launch in January of 2016. We also offer an academic integrity course. This covers some of the basics of citations and helps students ensure that they are making good choices when citing their references. And there's a link in the, um, in the links area to more information on our courses. We also offer proposal workshops for students who have been working on their proposal. These are great options. We offer four different workshops. They're six weeks long online, so you don't have to go anywhere. You get feedback from a writing instructor on three to five page segments of your draft during weeks two through five. So for four weeks in a row, you submit sections of your draft and you get feedback on those sections. You then leave the course with a plan to move forward on your proposal. Now please note you do need to have a working draft of your proposal because we focus on revising and editing only, not content. If you look at the graphic on the screen, you can see the four different workshops that we offer. So the first one, 8015 slash 8010, 8015 is the semester version and 8010 is the quarter version. We offer this workshop on writing and editing the proposal. So in this workshop, you can work on any part of your proposal, and you can submit segments from any part of your proposal. So this is a great option for students who want to work on the entirety of their proposal or who want to be able to submit from different sections. We also offer specific workshops on the introduction, the literature review, and the methods section. Please also note that in our methods section, in our method, methods section workshop, we do not offer advice on methods. For that, you need to go talk with either the Center for Research Quality or with the kind folks in the ASC who work with tutoring. You can find more information on our proposal workshops on our website. Yeah, in the workshop, the structure of a workshop, a student will get a lot of one-on-one -on -one attention. So every week for weeks, so the first week, the student submits uh, an overview, a self-assessment of their writing, and then the, the instructor gives some feedback on that and then is able to structure the rest of the class. One neat thing about the workshops is that they have a lot of flexibility built into the curriculum, so the instructors can flex the discussion topics based on the needs of the students in the class. So if the students in the class need some work on APA style, they'll do a discussion on APA style. So again, the instructors get to decide what students are going to talk about in the discussion, which is really neat. And then in weeks two, three, four, and five, students submit a three to five page section of their draft. And that's what we ask our faculty to spend most of their time on, is giving comments on that draft. So the faculty member will give comments on that section of the draft. The student is expected to then take those comments, apply them to the rest of the draft, and then submit a different chunk of their proposal the next week. And then the faculty member can look at other things that the student needs to work on. So this is a great opportunity for students to really move their work forward and work on a lot of different writing issues in one area. And to work with a faculty member who gets to see them from week to week and see their development and see where they need where they're not going and where they need to be going. So it's a great it's a great option for students. Yes, the workshops cost $245 per workshop, inclu not including any applicable taxes or fees. 
one resource that you might not be aware of that's not offered to the Academic Skills Center but is offered through the Center for Research Quality is some great programmatic information on their website. So you can kind of see on the slide they have a page for each of the doc studies and then a page for dissertation. And each those pages have different information on them, but they have things like checklists, rubrics, guides. They're fantastic. So if you haven't had a chance to take a look at those guides for your your specific program, you go on to the Center for Research Center for Research Quality's website, and then you click on Student Research Administration up in the top left corner, and that will take you to this welcome page, and then you can pick your program on there and get more information. But it's a really nice resource that I don't know that a lot of students are aware of. Thanks, Emily. Um, and thank you to the Academic Skills Center for inviting me to be part of this session today. I'm here to talk about, as Emily said, some resources available through the Writing Center, which is separate from the resources available through the Academic Skills Center. And I see from the attendees list that some of you are already members of the first resource I'm going to talk about. So hello to all of you. But the first thing I will talk about, which is specifically for students who are working on their proposals or final finished studies for the dissertation and the doctoral study, is the Walden Capstone Writing Community. And this is um, more informal than the course structure you will get through the Academic Skills Center. What this is is sort of a student lounge, a way for um, students who are at the proposal stage or later to connect with one another and uh, get writing support and create sort of a network of colleagues that you can lean on during the doctoral capstone process because that can be a little bit isolating. I saw there's a question earlier about whether or not it would be an independent process. By the time you're working on your proposal and your final study, you're going to be working very closely with your faculty chair and your committee, but it can still feel very isolating because you're not really in a course structure with peers as much. You're really working on your own thing. And while you may have family and friends who can read over your work, there's nothing that can really replace a colleague and someone who's going through the same experience or has the same or similar information, having a way to connect with them to share your work um, and to get feedback. So that's what the Walden Capstone Writing Community is designed to do. A few features of the Walden Capstone Writing Community. One, it is a closed community, so it's not connected to a course. It's not connected to Blackboard. It's not accessible through our main website. Um, you have to create a member profile and the reason for this, there are several reasons for this. One of the main reasons is um, so that people know when they're sharing work in there that they're not really being evaluated or tracked, that this is really a safe place for people to share their work and kind of um, get feedback and connect with one another outside of the regular course structure. And it's also we ask that if you're not quite at the proposal stage that you wait to join because the resources in there are really geared toward people who are working on the proposal and the final draft of that doctoral capstone document. So if you're still in courses, you're not really, there's not a lot for you in there yet. But once you get to the proposal stage, it's really designed for people who are working on and drafting those sections and chapters of their doctoral study. A few of the editor-led services that we offer through the writing community are live document reviews. And what that is, um, a lot of people want to have feedback from an editor, and we don't offer on-demand one-on-one feedback from editors at the Writing Center. What we do offer is a chance for people to volunteer for one of these live document review sessions. And I will put out a call once or twice a month and then randomly select from those people who volunteer a participant and that participant will send in their document and then an editor will go over it and do a review of it, a live review that the rest of the community is allowed to then come and attend. So you can come and observe someone having their document reviewed. And this is really useful because, oh, thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, I mean, people have had a really good time. It's useful because I think once you get to the proposal in the final stage, a lot of people have the same writing issues and writing problems, even if you're in different programs or different stages. And also, it's just a really nice chance to see one another's research, because that can be really motivating to see someone who's maybe a little further along in the process or someone who's almost ready to be finished. And Walden students do a lot of interesting research, so that's another benefit is that you get to see what one another are doing. In addition to the capstone writing community, the Walden Writing Center offers templates for preparing your final study document. 
So as doctoral students, you are responsible for making sure your document is publication ready and um, ready for submission to the ProQuest database at the time of your graduation. So in order to assist with that, the Writing Center has developed these templates where you can input your information uh, so that your document will follow all of the APA and Walden specific and ProQuest specific formatting guidelines so that you can then submit your document and it will look nice and appropriate when it's um, searchable in the database. And in addition to the templates, there are instructions and demonstration videos for each program's specific writing template. And you can access those uh, through the Writing Center website. Thank you.